A very warm welcome back to Six Ashes for episode 40 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's quarter past five in the evening and as you can see it's almost completely dark. I've got a few jobs to do. I've got a great demand at the post office for eggs so I'm going to rush down grab the Land Rover um, because I've got a load that I can get rid of and make a bit of money on my eggs so I'm going to do that. I'm at the store which is just closing. It's closing early today. The lights are sort of on but nobody's home. And I have bought, if it's the top right corner, my money has gone down considerably. I have bought a vehicle for the other dairy farm. I've bought a small trailer and I've bought a front loader with a bucket to muck out. Thank you for all the suggestions from everybody who suggested all different sorts of vehicles. But I suddenly thought, you know, there's something I haven't really looked at. It's a bit dark to show you now. So I'm going to take the vehicle up, do the mucking out, bed them in for the night. And I will see you in the morning. I'm not trying to tease on purpose, it's just that it's too dark and you won't be able to see properly, so I'll see you in the morning. It's day three. It's midwinter. And as you've probably already seen from the thumbnail, I got myself another tractor, which I said last night I had. Up at the other dairy farm, I went for a ridgy track. Why, you ask? Well, for a couple of reasons. One, I haven't really used them, other than when they first came out to have a look over them. Two, all-wheel steer. Fairly small tractor, low to the ground, a nice low centre of gravity. It's only 110 horsepower, it was about 84,000 I think to buy, so not massively expensive. I had all sorts of options thrown at me, and I had two or three I thought, oh yeah, I'll get this, I'll get and, and I thought, you know what, I just I haven't really used these. Swiss tractor manufacturer, uh, as it says upside there, Sepnussel. Sepnussel, and I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> Um, who started Sepnussel um, Agricultural Machinery. Uh, well, I'm not sure when he did, but he was 20 years old. He did a four... a 40-year... a four-year apprenticeship as an agricultural machinery mechanic and then started Sepnussel. And then in 2003 decided that he wanted to have his own tractors. I mean, designed primarily, and that's why it came with the Alpine Farming DLC, was um, for kind of Alpine farming, that whole concept of low centre of gravity, very good on fuel economy, all those kind of things. And obviously the electric one that we got as part of the pack only came out in, I think, 2018, I think it was. So you've got Ridgetrack Track Tractor and Bow, I think it is. It's the tractor company. Oh, it's quite a tight yard round here. I don't want something huge. I did think of loaders and stuff, and I thought, but this is, with the all-wheel steer, it's absolutely fantastic. 
Now, as with my beef cattle down at the uh, at CJ farm, the amount of manure they're producing is ridiculous. Now, this is um, a CSZ pack bucket. It's 2,500 litres, hence the weight on the back. Why is that now not picking up? Is that not open far enough? Let's open it right. Hence the weight on the back, because with 2,500 litres in here, there we go. It was having a real problem lifting. So I got a weight, because I thought that would probably make more sense. I should have closed that back down to avoid impaling people as I'm driving around. Let's get the lights on. Now I've got a few jobs I want to do today. I need to put manure and water on the fruit trees again, but I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to take a full load of manure up to the biogas plant. The only downside with the farm here, the other dairy farm, is the uh, manure pit is quite a long way away from the cows. It's all over here. Well, I suppose I could dump the manure anywhere. It doesn't have to be here, but this is where it is. I also got myself a small trailer. The one I've got already, which is the Lizard CT... I can't remember which one it is now. I've got the smaller one of it. So I just having a, like I said, well, a while ago, I suppose now, I said having a smaller trailer available to do little jobs here and there might be a little bit more useful, which is just, you know, it's great. Thank you to Mark, uh, while I remember. I said about a shortcut down to the store and back across rather than going out across the countryside. And he sent me a picture of something he'd done, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I need to clear all this first. What else was I going to do today? I was going to do the manure to the biogas plant, sort out that, clean out this feed area. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I say I'm concerned. It's very odd. That whole thing of me saying that things weren't really going through the, the sort of cycle had stopped. I say that, but all these fields overnight have gone to harvested. Oh, that's what I'm going to do, grab the cultivator, because the field five that I, in, I inherited when I bought the other dairy farm is withered. That needs to be cultivated in. That's what I was going to do, cultivating as well. Yeah, so that's withered. I think they might already have done, but these fields are all saying harvested. Field 49 is saying cultivated, so they are running through a cycle. So I'm really, really hoping that we do knock over and we get our poplars ready to harvest. Because my goal, when I started all this out, was to buy the other dairy farm, which I didn't think I'd do till spring. Now, admittedly, we're not going to get any milk, like I said, for nine months. So it'll be well into next year before we get any milk. But what I intended to do, I have done. I've, I've Oh, that was, I think, water pump. The, the uh, My local plumber, agricultural plumber, <laughs> came out. We've got our water pumps. So I've got to worry about water for the cows up here. Yeah, so yeah, th this was what I was intended to do. Now, obviously, we may not get to a point where we actually see the milk production. I want to get to a point where I sell my beef stock. Because I want to, you know, show that whole process. We bought them in, we fattened them up, we're going to sell them on, we're going to make a profit. That was a big point of doing that as well. Pigs are up to 220 again. So we sold them right the way back down to, what was it, 101 or 110 we came back down to. Then it'll back up to 220 again, so the, the pigs are absolutely worth their weight in gold. But I can see, the same as at the uh, at CJ with the manure, we are going to have loads and loads of it. And I suppose what would have made more sense, I was actually seriously considering getting a case, because I've been catching up on my Tom Pemberton, and as I mentioned this a while ago, that my Tom Pemberton viewing I, I went right back to the start of his channel so i was way 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 behind and over the last i don't know week or so i guess i've been binge watching in my sort of i say free time i've been doing stuff on eureka farms as you may or may not know if you've been watching that let's play so when i've been doing contract work on there i've been watching so on one screen i've had tom pemberton farm life playing and then on the other screen I've been doing contract work on Eureka Farms. Two birds, one stone, all that kind of thing. And um, they had a case maxim 
from case to trial for three months and then that went back and then on the one I just watched they got case sent them a uh, Luxem which is the two down from a Maxim I thought we haven't got a Luxem in game we have got a Maxim I know that so I thought you know what I might get one of those you know it's a, it's a fairly small agricultural tractor it might be quite cool and then realised that we've got a modded Vestrum, which is between the two. So you've got Maxim, then Vestrum, then... It was Lustrum, wasn't it? I'm sure it was Lustrum, not Ustrum. Lustrum. Down from there. And then, obviously, then that got overridden me, because I thought, oh, you know what, I haven't used I haven't used a rigid track. So I was going to go for a Bura. Thank you, Big Papa C. I'd mentioned a Bura. I thought, oh, yes, a Bura. I could get the modded Bura. We use that. Too many decisions to make. So anyway, yeah, the point I was kind of making was, at the moment, I've got contracts showing sowing. The ground's frozen, shouldn't be able to sow. But I've got loads of fertilising contracts available. But I have got a few jobs I need to do. I know I'm, I'm wittering while I'm mucking out, but again, it's part and parcel. New bit of machinery. As you can see, it's very nimble. Nice, tight turning ranges. I, do, I, I like it a lot. I'm glad I went for it. It's very nice and tidy inside too. Now I've been thinking about where I go from here. And like I said before, I do have an idea of where I want to go, but that's all going to depend very heavily on mods. It is the 11th today that I'm recording this, and it should be posted today on the 11th. We should get mods today because Giants are back as of the 11th. Uh, but that's being said, they may just be back to do testing today, so we might not get any. If there's a mod review pops up, then you'll know that, yes, they were back and mods are, in, are done. There's a couple I'm kind of waiting for. And I'm also then thinking, how, how do I progress forward? What do I do next? I haven't done a subscriber contracts one for quite a while. Um, but that is a beast. To do subscriber contracts, I would not be running seasons. And I'm not doing precision farming. Uh, I know a lot of people are saying I should. And if I do, I might do that off camera just for me. Just to get my head around everything. I know there's quite a few people out there that are doing real in-depth precision farming, testing and all sorts of stuff. And that's great. I just think subscriber contracts, as I've said before, if I do those, that is so complicated to run anyway. If I throw seasons into that mix and all precision farming, it's just too, it is way too much to do. I did think about, <laughs> I know people say, yeah, yeah, do that. It's going to be almost impossible. I did think about an in-cab series. I know VF does it quite a lot, the uh, realistic. So the only view you get is from your cab, because that's how a farmer realistically plays the game. <laughs> plays the game. A farmer doesn't actually, you know what I mean? Farmers don't play a game. They're, they're doing it for real. But you, you, you know what I mean. I just don't think... I've got the spatial awareness to do it. I just think it would be more of a car crash to watch and I don't think people would enjoy it. I'm not sure I would enjoy doing it. I know it's what I should be trying to do. I should be improving, but as you're seeing now, it's that bucket thing. I know people have told me 101 different ways of making sure the bucket's level so you know it's level. I can never seem to get it to work for me in cab. So again, I'm not picking anything up. I, I'm just, I look, I think it's level, and then it's not. So I don't know. I did think about maybe trying to do that. I just don't know if that's going to be something. I don't know if I'd want to watch that. In all honesty, that's always been my kind of rule of thumb. If I'm doing a let's play, if I'm doing a video, is it something I would watch? Am I watching it for the person? Am I watching it for the content? Am I watching it for both? Am I watching it for the chat? Like almost like a podcast type thing, you know where. There's a whole load going on other than just the farming. And I know VF does it incredibly well. I just don't know that I can. It, should, it just comes with practice. I know it does, but... Like I've always said before, I like looking at the machinery. I, I, like, I do like the concept of a more realistic... Kind of all done from in cab, so it is how it would be. But there is a huge element of, um, I like looking at the machinery. <laughs> I, know, I know it sounds really sad, but. So, 
that's that done mucked out they're good to go for the day mind your head on the gate oh, that's close and we'll pop that away from here I'm going to go down to CJ we'll load up on a load of manure I'm going to sort out the fruit trees then we'll go up to the biogas plant I'll tip a load there because I've got so much manure way more than I need for, for the allotments and the fruit trees so I might as well sell some and then up to field 5 which is just beyond here that side of the trees I think isn't it over there to cultivate in that crop and then what I'm, I might do again this was a suggestion from somebody and I apologise I can't remember who it was about skipping ahead to see what will happen and going ahead a few days to see if the poplars do actually grow I've got as many people telling me skip ahead and see what happens and then people saying to me they're not going to now because of the, is the issue I had with having multiple um, geos on by mistake we'll say multiple too that it's just it's not going to work now they're not going to grow but I am getting a cycle though I am getting the fields are still cycling I was more concerned if the fields didn't cycle at all then I would say it was probably just stuck in a rut and there's no way it was going to happen. But the fact the fields are still cycling fills me with a bit of hope. I'm walking across here just to show you something. And like I say, that was from Mark. I said about a shortcut. When you come straight out of the farm, there is a farm track that runs down the side of that field, but it stops the bottom of the next one. If I go along the lane to where the little house is there, and my field that I've also inherited, buying the other dairy farm here, field 71. If I run up the side of the field here, and over the top when we come down this side where we've got the trees what I've done a la Mark is cut the trees away so I, I leased the T-Rex last night came up, cut a load of the trees back and put this track in down to the back of the spinnery now it's a bit steep on this last bit here but it is a cut through if I want to use one rather than going through hedges and that kind of thing now i know off camera i can go through hedges and people wouldn't know and that kind of thing but i just think again it just so you can legitimately say you know what i'm going to cut through from here straight down through uh, the stores right there or then cut across and straight down to the main farm rather than going all the way out there and all the way back across again i know it's not that far really but we all like a shortcut don't we so that's what I'm going to do next. I'll sort out the fruit trees and then I'll see you at the biogas plant. Or um, I might see you while I'm loading up the manure. Then we'll head up to the biogas plant, sell a load there, then grab the cultivator. I'm, I'm mildly frustrated because of how much I love playing on this map. And I really, really love playing on this map. That if I have caused an issue that is irrecoverable... I can still go through the motions now and go right the way through and all that will happen in nine months time is you will see the, f the fact the cows are now producing milk up at the other dairy farm. I do, like I said, I do want to sell my beef stock. Uh, the pigs will be a rolling thing now. I'll keep feeding them and every time I've got a load that I've fattened up, I'll sell those on. Chickens are producing their eggs, no problem at all. That's all great. The horse in here, and I hope, has been... Uh, exercise today that's all good so we can go through that rolling process every now and again we'll get horses in get them fit and healthy and off they'll go again it just comes down to that those poplars that that was what i really wanted to do that i don't know we'll see on my way back from topping up fruit trees and the Allotment to greenhouses, uh, apologies, I forgot in the first bit about the time again. But it's alright. So let's put that at a slight angle. Should make life a little bit easier. Just to top this off because I didn't use as much manure as I thought I was going to. Which is always good. Bucket ready. Probably need to extend that, I think. Shouldn't need too much more. Maybe a couple of buckets. And then we'll get this up to the biogas plant. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now I'm questioning myself. I'm doubting whether or not... I'm sure they do, don't they? It has been suggested as well with the sheep. I said about moving the sheep from our pasture down here to the pasture up at the other dairy farm. And somebody suggested just getting a whole other flock, which we could do. From the comments I'm receiving, people are enjoying the Eureka Farm stuff. I know it's a bit bonkers and a bit zany and a bit out there. And I'll be honest with you, coming back onto here, someone said to me, oh, you won't be able to go back to regular farming after you've done like the fast farming stuff. Honestly, this for me is far more reassuring. <laughs> this for me feels right. I know that doing that is great and I'm, I think it's brilliant. I'm loving it and I'm loving playing with all the kit that's on that map and whatever, but this is for me still farming it's probably the same thing in my head um that i still get people asking me why oh that was close i should have dropped that down first why if i've got a fairly high spec pc am i still playing this game on console when i could be doing so much more and doing more and playing with more and playing with different maps it's the same thing you know much as yes i'm, I'm enjoying doing the eureka farm stuff and it's great fun this is what I enjoy the, again I don't do it ultra realistically I never have done but for me this is what it feel, this feels right it's kind of proper farming I know it sounds ridiculous and the same with that I'm a console gamer for me it just feels right on console I know it's, it's just a, it's a personal thing and it's, it doesn't make a lot of sense but it is what it is Oh, you might also notice along this field edge, uh, when I had the T-Rex last night doing that bit of work, I suddenly thought, oh, that's what I was going to do. Again, nice shout out to Big Poppacy, who suggested I take out some of the trees along the side of field 19. That way I could get the mower right along the edge without getting caught up on all those low branches and stuff. So I took a few out just to tidy a little bit up. I do have all that. Oh, we have got over a million litres of silage up at the bunker silo I need to sell as well. I wonder if that's um, it should be fermented by now shouldn't it? Let's get up there let's crack on this all needs to be done Now I don't know, because I haven't tried whether or not I can tip this in front or whether this has to be tipped and then put in my bucket. That's a valid point too. I might have to bring the uh, wheel loader up. Wheel loader. Telehandler. And do it by bucket, potentially. Because I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. And then we'll check on the silo as well. Is it going to give me an unload thing, or am I going to have to tip? Oh yeah. Actually, what I do need to do is swap that to tip side back, because I had it on crane door. Let's close that and unload. I mean, the end of the day, it's sitting there, so as long as I've got enough to cover the, the allotments and the fruit trees, all the rest of it is surplus, so I might as well. I've got a load of it, the pigs as well, so I could do another run, which I might well do later on. That's unloaded. I'll swing around the front and let's check out the, uh, the silage clamp, shall we? Let's open that up. Nope, it's only 80%, so I can't do anything with that yet. Anyway, okay, that's alright. Back up 
back up, back down to the farm. And I'm going to grab the cultivator. So if I'm going to do some more manure, I'll grab another load later on. Probably go down to the pig farm, because the silo there is filling up. And uh, grab another full load, bring it back up here later on. Unload that, so midnight we'll get a payment. It won't be a huge amount of money, but again, it's all, it's all money in the bank. It's better going in than it is coming out. I often find. <laughs> I'm sure you do too. I've just remembered, if you were already shouting on the screen, I probably can't cultivate, can I? Because the ground's frozen. I'll, I'll try, I don't think it will let me. But knowing what it's been like with the ground and stuff around here, around these parts, potentially I can get away with it. I think I've got a full egg box as well. Uh, where should I... Actually, you know what, I'll take this back up. Because if I'm going to do another load... Might as well have it up there already. So what we'll do is just pull that up alongside there. As long as I'm not blocking the entrance to the barn, we should be fine. My two fields here, field 51 has been ploughed completely. I did line around the edges and plough around the edges of the fields that needed it because they were showing that they needed ploughing, so I thought I'd do those edges. So field 51 doesn't need it, but field 21 and 22 do need cultivating as well. So what I'll do is try there first. Like I said, I don't think it's going to let me. So as I was driving back, I thought, hang on a minute, I looked in the top right corner, the ground's frozen. So probably not, but doesn't hurt to try, we might be able to get it into the ground a little bit rather than just skipping across the top. Swinging. Nope, caught up again. See what I mean? My in cab work needs work. That's better. Whoa. I must say though, when you do the in cab stuff, it's when you realise just how bumpy stuff is and the angles of fields and the you know the inclines and that kind of stuff especially depending on what camera setting you've got your, uh, your camera on right let's open it out it's not going to let me is it boo if it doesn't I don't know what I'm going to do oh <laughs> <sighs> Right then, I honestly don't know what to do now. Animals are all fed and watered, they're all sorted. I can't do any field work, potentially fertilising I suppose I could do. Because it should sit on the top, shouldn't it? And there are loads of fertilising contracts available I think. Yeah, fertilising, 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 fertilising. I possibly do sowing, it won't let me. don't really want to do any more bailing. What I will do though is close that gate. I should have done that before. I, mean, I did say the field work could be done in spring. At least I got the ploughing part of it all done before the ground froze, which is what I was trying to do before. So that's not so bad. It's just um, more manure for the manure gods then, I suppose. I, I don't just want to skip right ahead, but not really, you've got a lot of choice. Again, I haven't left myself a lot of room there, have I? Don't think I'm far enough forward, am I? Noop. Gonna hit the telehandler. Oh, you know what? I suppose I'm not as bad at this as I think I am. <laughs> I have been doing it for quite a while. I suppose I have picked up a few a few skills, although you don't tend to see them as often as I'd like. But. And I keep talking about Tom Pemberton, but 
I think it's one thing I've been enjoying watching his channel as well. Is that something he's always said is they show everything. They, you know, not, it's not always perfect. It's not always immaculate. It's not always tidy. It's not always in the best repair. He makes mistakes. He gets things wrong. And he, you know, but they show it, and I love that. I think that it's very human and very um, assuring in a way, I guess, isn't it? That you know, that's who we are by nature. We get things wrong. There we go. We got it in there in the end. It wasn't in first time, but it doesn't have to be, does it? Right then. Um, engine off. What next? I suppose it is just manure then. Right, I might see you possibly day four then. Or maybe even further ahead than that. It depends. So it's either going to be when the poplars are ready, when my limousines are ready to be sold, which, I mean, technically I could sell them now, but we'll get them a little bit bigger. Or something fantastical or drastical happens. We'll see. Oh, lights. That's better. Now this is exactly, is exactly what I was talking about <clears throat> on my Eureka Farms video. That playing on that and doing some weird and wacky stuff, your mind kind of then goes, boom, I wonder, what about? So I did another load of manure up at CJ Farms and then thought I need to come down here. Rather than bring the telehandler down as well with the bucket, I do have a bucket down here, but it's a fairly small bucket. We've got quite a bit of manure, could take a while to do it. So I thought, well, what about one of the pickup conveyor belts? The one that comes in that root crop storage pack by Top Ace 888. I could use one of those. And I knew that my trailer had a rear trailer hitch. The problem was, I went to grab one and it wouldn't hook up to the trailer. So then I thought, well, okay, I'll just, I'll just bolt on an aftermarket three point link. So the front lifter by Pepe 978 bolts on and then that hooks onto that so it does mean that I can take this wherever and then rather than do it bucket by bucket I can just do it by conveyor belt at least I thought well that should work shouldn't it so that's what I'm trying I, I might as well give it a go that should work with silage as well when I empty up empty bunker silos I know I can use the milling machine which I have done quite a lot but I thought at least this way I'm trying something a bit different as well it's whether or not I've got enough room in the yard for this. This is the only problem. Because it is fairly long. We should be able to get under it, shouldn't we? If I lift that right up. Put that right in. Turn the belt on. Let's go to there. 12,000 litre, I've gone for the, there's a 6,000 and a 12,000, so I went for the 12, because I can get more on each belt load, Now sometimes it will do one belt at a time, sometimes it will continue to pour, so hopefully it will continue to pour it can be a little bit temperamental oh, that still wasn't high enough right, I need to raise that and it is still working Extend the belt. Now how much quicker is that than doing it one bucket at a time? And that's the thing, isn't it? Your mind then starts doing different things, trying different things. I know people have suggested using conveyor belts before. And I'm like, oh, I don't mind doing it by bucket. It's not a problem at all. You know, the telehandler has got an 8,000 litre bucket on it. That's not a problem. But in all honesty, that... It's brilliant. I'm so glad I tried it. Let's do that. I'll raise it up a little bit more. So when I come back, turn the belt off and engine off on the conveyor belt. And then like I say, I can then come back and I can move that up and we can do silage with that. I know that is, is like I said before, it's one of those kind of 
farmers make things work, you know, bolt this onto this and try that, weld that on there, you know, make up a bracket, do something different. I'm not using the PTO, it's just hooking up the trailer to pull along so I can use the sort of three point link, but why not? It was, it was worth a crack and it has worked. So what I'll do now is head from here back up to the biogas plant. We'll empty another load. That'll be three, is it three or four loads have I done now. I completely emptied the um, the manure pit at CJ Farm. So this has got to be my fourth load then. Which also means that our digestate production is going up too. Which means we should have a load of digestate on hand. But anyway, I just thought, I'd, again, it's one of those, I'm just having a go. I just thought I'd show you. It did work. I wasn't sure if it would or not. Another problem solved. It wasn't too much of a problem. I could have just spent a bit of time doing it with the bucket. It's really not an issue, but... Those poor shelters there look... Nothing in them. All forlorn. Oh, that's where my other weight is. I can't remember where I put it. Come on, poplars. I'm willing you to grow. It's day five. Late winter. We have gone through a couple of days off camera. I've been feeding the animals, I've been looking after them, I've been cleaning them out, doing all the things I need to. Ground's frozen, can't do any jobs there. Poplars, unfortunately, still haven't grown. What I have done is moved the conveyor belt that we leased up to the biogas plant along with the trailer. I've just finished mucking out here. Just finished mucking out the limousines. But we're at that point. Because if we go on to here, they're going for 3672. They're at 1,296 pounds in weight. They have stayed at 1,296 pounds in weight for the last three days. They haven't got any heavier. I don't know why. But we do need to sell them between 1,200 and 1,400. So, you know what? It's time to sell our beef stock. Am I going to get some more in? I might do. The only problem we have got is because of the issue with regard to seasonal work at the moment, again in, in inverted commas, I can't transport them myself, so they're going to have to be collected. There's going to be a fee. So I'm going to take a bit of a hit, but unfortunately that is... There's nothing I can do about that. And the same will be with the pigs, because if we go into this menu here and we scroll across, our pigs have hit the max. We've gone up to 300. I've got a load in there that are above, was it 280 they want to be? About 280 pounds. I keep saying kilos, pounds. 280 pounds, so I need to sell a load of pigs as well. Everything else is looking really good. The horse has been exercised. Everything's been mucked out. Chickens are knocking the eggs out at quite a rate as they often do so it's time to sell our beef stock we've done all right let's shift across so annoying what we're gonna have to pay out to transport them 10 grand <laughs> blimey man although we're gonna make a tidy sum so let's confirm the sale. 183,000. Our beef stock cleared out. Now we can get some more straight back in again because we've got feed and everything in there. We had got to a point here as well where they were they were running out of feed every day. So I was having to restock. So I've been using the total mix ration that we put into storage because we absolutely needed to. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to head over. I'll go in the Land Rover, I guess. Head over to the pig farm. Every time. We'll offload all the pigs that are overweight. And then we'll get up to the biogas plant. 
and I'm going to crack on with selling a load of the silage that we made. There are all sorts of ways and over various different farms I have run. I've done it with conveyor belts, I've done all sorts of different ways of, of having a more automated system where you can just kind of leave it. I've done it with wheel loaders, I've done it with all sorts of stuff. My trailer's not massive, it's only just under 40,000, was it 39.8 or something like that. I'm going to be unloading just under 40,000 litres at a time into the biogas plant and I'll spend a bit of time doing that. I'm not going to get rid of the whole million because obviously the thing's got to chug away. I've just realised I've done it again with the time. I know when I mentioned it before a lot of people said it doesn't matter, don't worry about it. I know, I know, but you know. You know my feelings on the matter. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I really am hoping we get into spring and those poplars suddenly go, ta-da. But in all honesty, the fact that I won't get a poplar harvest done, it's not the end of the world. We're going to make a bit of money selling the, the um, silage at the biogas plant. We'll have a load of digestate on hand. So I'm thinking spring. When we get into spring, it won't be long now. In all honesty, the rate we are hammering through, I'll probably get a slurry spreader. Then we might as well use the digestate. It's, it'll be free. It's a byproduct, so we'll get some of that done. I'm thinking maybe... I don't know. What was I thinking of using? Oh, I bought something as well. I meant to show you up at the main farm. I'll show you in the store. To go with our fertiliser spreader. Came out fairly recently. Let's pull up. Yeah, um, what did I get? I bought one of those, the Supima fertilizer trailer. So we've got one of those, and we've also already got our Exacta TLX. So I've got those together, um, which gives us much more scope. Although, obviously, fertilizing, I can't do anything still because the ground's frozen from that respect, but we're good. So, what I'm going to do now then is onto our pigs, go across, and I'm looking for anything that's 280 pounds or more, making sure I don't sell my first 10. Now again, there's going to be a fee. I'm just going to have to accept the fact that a few of my pigs are going to cover the cost of transport. But again, you've got to remember, everything over my 10 original pigs, it's all money in the bank. So my 10 originals, we've got 300. I've got 290 pigs. We already sold a load of others. 290 pigs that are all over and above our original 10. Well, I need to get some that are over 280. There we go, right. So, 295, 296, 295, 293. Let's get through those. I've really got to be careful. £332, well, 332, 288. Mm, it is over. Yeah. Just got to keep an eye on those numbers. Right, so these ones here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They're my originals. I'll give myself a bit of a buffer so I can see they're right. We're going to do right out of this, aren't we? Right, now we're down to £128. 
that's all of our I think that's all of them 52s 15s now we're down to our younger newer ones I'm pretty sure that's everything so that's another 39 grand confirm I did have a strange comment left the other day by somebody saying they weren't playing on here because it's too easy to make money is it? <laughs> I know wood chips pay well. Um, I've put a lot of work into this. I've put a lot of hours into it. A lot of prep work with the TMR. A lot of prep work with doing forestry. We're doing. There's been a lot of storage. A lot of you know looking after the animals. We're coming to the end of year two. Almost going into year three. I wouldn't say it's been easy to make money. I've certainly been on farms that have been far easier to make money. Right, it's a biogas plant. Let's sell some silage. See up there in a minute. I meant to sail my way up. The ridge track that we bought, blimey, I'm loving it. It handles so well and it gets around that yard and into the, the cattle um cattle barn so easily. Very manoeuvrable does the job I need it to and not overly expensive I know I could have got another skid still loaded really cheaply I could have got the Massey Ferguson one for just over I think for just under six grand is it there's all sorts of options but no it's working well some people have asked me if I'm going to sell the fence and get something to replace the fence it's a workhorse and it's doing the job I could do Maybe get a modern fence, maybe a newer one. I could do that, couldn't I? I'm wondering whether or not to get a different, whether or not to get limousines next time. To get, um. Oh, what are the other ones? Salas? Salas? I'm never quite sure how to say it. Yeah, I might do. Right. Let's stop there. Engine off. So, we've got the conveyor belt. That's in place. And luckily, we can actually tip just in front. So I know I'm, I'm like I say, I'm doing small amounts at a time, but it doesn't matter. Let's make sure that's turned on. Belts on. Excellent. Let's stick this underneath. This is one of the few times that running at times five actually works in your favour because it means the processing, well, I say the processing, goes quicker. It feels like it's going quicker, but that's only because the day's going quicker. You're still processing the same amount per minute, it's just we're getting through more minutes quicker. And yeah, this is a, it's a slow, laborious way of doing it. I've got over a million litres in there, and this is just you know, 40,000 litres at a time. It's going to take me an age to empty this bunker silo. Why did that just stop? That's a bit weird. Do I need to adjust that, maybe? Yep. Ooh. But in all honesty, when you've got this much in a bunker silo, whether it's one million, two million, three, five million, whatever size the bunk silo is, emptying one out takes a long time. Even if you use conveyor belts, those conveyor belts will be running for absolutely ages. Yeah, 39,800. So we'll back that all the way up. Should get the thing come up in a second, there we go. Get that unloading. We should be saying fantastic. So yeah, pigs, no problem at all. What are we down to now? We need to sell quite a load, down to 220. So we've got rid of 80. Still got 220 though, that's pretty good. Again, from the original 10, that's mind boggling. Sheep are, I've got more sheep. I didn't think they started producing I don't produce wool, but I don't think... I was only on 53, wasn't I? I 
Did I mention that? Hmm. <laughs> Curious happenings with the sheep. So yeah, this is going to be a little bit further going on. I, I could buy another flock, I did mention that, so maybe some more sheep up at the other dairy farm. They're ticking away quite nicely, so I might, I might get some sellers. They're a little bit cheaper to buy, but I don't think you might get as much money for them. But I think they're a lower feed requirement or something like that. Potentially, we might give them a go. I, I could get some in. I might not get 50, maybe only 20 this time, potentially. I'll give it some thought. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to... I'll, I'll still keep an eye on the poplar situation. It's still not... nothing's happening. But I say, weirdly, I've got a lot of things happening with a lot of the other fields. So I've got more of these now showing as cultivated that were saying harvested. So something is happening with the fields. It's just whether or not mine will change. I will give it till spring. We'll go through till spring. I may find it is irreparable. In which case, I'm going to end up just being a livestock farmer and I won't be doing any arable. <laughs> or I could do a whole load more poplars, but then that means running through an entire another year to get them to harvest so we shall see but that is where I'm going to leave you for this episode it's a much slower pace I, I you know than Eureka Farms and that's not a bad thing at all it gives my heart rate a chance to come back down to normal anyway if you've enjoyed it if you're still enjoying the series give us a like if you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>